Hey, my name is Alex Barham. Uh, I'm the brand ambassador for Mountain Man Outdoors. Uh, best thing about it is I get to paddle an amazing variety of demos, talk to a ton of people, and um, the constant question I always get is, "What is your go-to boat? What's your favorite boat?" Um, you know, every time I see you, some, everything on your rack is different, but what's your go-to? And uh, for the last two years, so the 2017-2018 seasons. It has hands down been the Mach No Large. Um, you know, we got these as soon as we could, and we jumped in them and said, well, this didn't paddle, you know, anything like what the rumor mill was, which is uh, a 9R creek boat, um, which is something I, I still hear it get labeled as um, from people who, you know, clearly have never even paddled the boat. Um, so, you know, the first thing we did was we got it back to, into the, the parking lot and put it next to what we thought it paddled like, uh, which was a large dagger nomad. And uh, sure enough, they're about 90% the same. Mach no is a little bit wider. It's got significantly harder chines, but not actually hard chines. It's still a solidly semi-displacement uh, with a little bit of chines to dig in. Um, but it's got this ramping nose um, and a little extra volume, which drops uh, the water line uh, a little bit lower. Uh, what that means is this is a boat that it, a lot of it rides above the water line, at least the way that I like to paddle it. Uh, and that means it's super quick uh, and it stays nimble. But when um, when you hit something, all of a sudden, all of that volume is still there. So so you ride super high when you're getting crashed into seams and. It also really helps me in low water situations because my draft, meaning the depth that I take up underneath the water, it's from you know top of the water to the bot uh, to the bottom of my boat, uh, is minimized. Um, so yeah, the the Piranha has become my go-to boat, and it's pretty much my go-to recommendation uh, for anyone who's looking for a high-performance creek boat, so an intermediate paddler who wants to just be able to get out and rip it. Um, this is also the boat I recommend to people who come up to me and say, you know, I've tried this, that, and the other thing, and this was, you know, okay, that was better, this was okay. I, I just, I'm, I'm tired of, you know, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. What's the boat going to be that I'm going to be in for a long time? Um, and, you know, everyone seems to be happy once they get into one of these things. Uh, you really combine all of the forgiveness of a displacement and the predictability of a displacement with the rollability of a displacement, but you add a lot more speed. Uh, it's still not a racing boat. It's a very fast creek boat, but I wouldn't say it's a racing boat. Um, and this bow ramp um, on the front just jumps on top of everything. Uh, no questions asked. Uh, if there's something that's going to stay high, dry, and fast, it's it's probably going to be the Mach No. Um, and that just, to me, makes everything, especially when you watch these GoPro clips, look so smooth. Um, and I, I honestly feel like a lot of times I look like a better paddler uh, than I actually am. Certainly the GoPro clips tend to look cleaner than I actually feel about what was happening at the time. Um, you know, there are some things that, uh, you know, I could take or leave about the, about these boats. Um, this boat was made with a, di a different kind of plastic from the previous Piranha boats. So, good news, it's crazy light for what it is. Um, bad news, uh, I destroyed the, my first one. Uh, I wore the bottom clean through and snapped it. Um, uh, Piranha was a little wishy-washy. I don't know if we even got another boat back from them, even though I destroyed it in three months um, of typical use. And um, other than that, you know, it, it's Piranha outfitting. Uh, some guys say that they like it. Uh, the most of us, though, would say it's rather uncomfortable. Um, I just add extra seat. Uh, foam into the seat and hope for the best. Uh, but this isn't a boat that if I had to spend 
a long, long day in, I would be thrilled about it. Um, I'm usually in and out of my boat constantly when I'm teaching or running quick laps, so it's not a big deal to me. Um, sizing on this boat is pretty much, I think, almost perfect uh, with the exception of the small is really a small medium um, the medium is kind of a medium large the large is spot on um, really no one will notice the difference unless you're um, you know on, on the smaller side so I have a friend who's a small female paddler and she was hoping that this was going to be smaller than it is. Uh, as always, demo everything uh, so you have a, a chance of knowing what's going on. Other than that, you can expect these to just be your do-everything boofing champion. Um, I have no fear in taking this from super low volume conditions to super big water conditions, um, steep stuff, big drops. It loves it all. Uh, I pretty much know that whenever I run something in a mock no, I'm going to land, even if I miss a boof and I 45 it, I'm going to skip out and just the name of the game seems to be land and leave. Would I put beginners in this boat? Yeah, probably. Uh, I, don't, I don't see any reason why not. Um, it's not going to take the pitons and just epic abuse that, say, a Dagger Nomad can, uh, but basically nothing can. Those boats are heavier, they're overbuilt, they've got a much bigger warranty, on a better warranty on them, longer warranty on them, um, but they're, they're just not the performance-driven workhorse that a Machno is. Right now, nothing is. Uh, so, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. Enjoy the rest of the clips, and uh, good luck. If you need anything, ask us questions, call up the shop, leave a comment wherever you're watching this, and just get a hold of me.